Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep for December 4th, 2018. So, hey, yesterday, everyone, I talked about the possibility of a pop and drop pattern, and that turns out to be kind of what turned out um, here. Now, one of the things I want to comment on just really quickly this morning is... I got I received a lot of emails and a lot of comments on a great call yesterday on this uh, possible pop and drop. I want everyone to understand that that was not a prediction. That's not a prediction. That is simply an observation of what the chart is showing us and removing my my personal bias when I um, take a look at those charts and uh, looking well I'm looking for support resistance and trend and what what the price action clues are providing me so please understand anyone can do what I do and there's there's no powers of prediction here uh, maybe some experience that is adding um, some uh, well what I I said some experience that might be adding um, a little bit of um, uh, potential accuracy to what I'm talking about. But other than that, anybody can do what I do. Trust me on that. If I can learn to do this, anyone can. So let's take a look at the market this morning without this idea, without um, bias and see what the market is showing us. Well, first off this morning, one of the things we want to recognize is the market is following through with its selling uh, this morning with a gap down toward the low of the day yesterday here in the Dow. And let's take a peek and see what, what's going on here. So if we were to really um, investigate this price action we have to recognize the fact that we have a resistance level right here we also want to take note that we have a downtrend break of price action and so this pullback could be nothing more than a pullback to test this um, downtrend break as support. The other thing that we have to make note of is the possibility that we could find more sellers here yet today and actually push the market back down to fill the gap that's still left behind after yesterday's big morning push. So all of those possibilities exist here. And with the morning gap down, we're going to have to watch that price action after the market opens and see whether or not those, um, those sellers come in um, piling on, pushing down through this gap, um, more of those profit takers, you know, working to fill that gap. We'll have to wait and see if that occurs. If that doesn't occur, if the bulls, were to happen to step up somewhere in this location and try to hold on to that support level or create that new support level in buying we'll want to watch for that so be careful not to chase this morning also uh, a wise thing to consider um, i believe is that uh, remembering that the market will be closed on wednesday and with the market being closed, there's a possibility that after the morning rush, we could see the market become very choppy and price action get uh, pretty lethargic. That, yeah, that is in the realm of possibility, just simply because everybody is sliding into that, um, sliding into that day that the market is closed. Also, remember that any decisions that you make on positions that you hold through the uh, hold through the close today um, will be subject to pretty much anything that occurs on Wednesday or through Wednesday for Thursday morning. So understand that risk um, and plan that risk carefully. So with that, we we've kind of taken taken the diamonds here into account. And, and by the way, the diamonds is really the strongest of the indexes at the moment, clearly above its 50 day moving average. It may have to come all the way back to test that 50 
day average as support though so we'll want to watch that carefully and and honestly if it pulls all the way back to there it, does that change anything in this chart and no it really doesn't if we were to test the 50-day moving average and bounce off of that as support i honestly would see that as a positive thing just a a nice test of support buyers potentially stepping in there holding on to that level so that would honestly in my opinion be healthy and also be a bullish thing to see let's take a look at the spy real quick and before I do that, please let me um, ask you a favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please take a moment and just click that subscribe button on YouTube. The follow me button on Facebook if you happen to be watching the video there. Click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. You guys are awesome about doing that. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are the best. And stick around, I may have a chart or two. For everyone to uh, take a look at for the uh, for your watch list this week so SPY gapping up substantially and now we're pulling back we're showing that gap down this morning now please keep in mind that this downtrend line break this is a very bullish thing to see that downtrend line broken we have to recognize the resistance right here in the chart and that this pullback may be a little bit of a rejection of that resistance level or rejection of the high and the possibility of that gap fill right in here to uh, be paying attention to if we take a look at the moving averages here in the charts 50-day moving averages um, just right here below a retest down in this level where we have this uh, well as accumulation starting to happen of moving averages that's a bullish sign that if we catch some support there that we may have a great opportunity for some long positions assuming it can hold and those bulls step up to defend those support levels so watch that closely the cues Q's on the other hand, um, breaking um, above its downtrend line, but we have to recognize the fact that we are still in a downtrend. Even with that gap up, we are in a downtrend, and that downtrend could extend, you know, all the way out to here. We don't know, and we're running into a significant level of resistance here, and a death cross being um, completed. Uh, with a 50 crossing down over the 200 let's hope that doesn't hold let's hope uh, those bulls can actually push through and hold that up and we can see that 50 maybe cross down and cross right back up that's what we would like to see now keep in mind that if selling picks up today we could certainly see there's our gap down open we could certainly see the the bears drive this down to completely fill this gap and that wouldn't really cause any major damage if we look right across here there's actually a price level in here and catch that support and pushing up off of that would be a pretty good bullish signal so we'll want to watch that close if we do pull back into that area let's take a quick look at IWM IWM nice W bottom formation here holding this low very very nicely um, and now we have rallied up and broke this downtrend and a pullback to find ourselves some support right in here would not be out of the question. And you can see if you look closely at the chart, there is a price level right across there that could provide us some price support. So a little bit of pullback into here wouldn't be a bad thing. And we're gapping down a little bit this morning, but a little bit of rest or a little bit of pullback right in here would not be a problem. What will be a problem for the market is as we challenge this level up here and then keep in mind that our 50-day moving average is just above and we've already had the death cross here so some significant resistance to to deal with um, in IWM now as we approach some of those resistance levels so kind of keep that in mind let's take a quick look at the VIX 
VIX, nice gap down yesterday. Um, found a little bit of bounce in here. Was becoming a bit of a concern yesterday when we were selling off so quickly after the open. But the bulls did step in and managed to hold on to there. So this bigger level of support, notice that I've been talking about this for a while, this bigger level of support in the VIX, we stopped right there, bang, just ran right into that support, stopped right there, was held. And now with the, this morning selling, we could see a little bit of fear creep back in. Let's hope that that fear doesn't get out of control in that little resistance area that runs all the way through here holds and prevents uh, fear from really creeping up too much. Also keep in mind this downtrend right here that's going on. If we do happen to breach back up in here, we wanna see that downtrend hold as resistance and this wedge could com continue to complete itself um, in the chart. So watch that. Let's take a look at T21. 22. T21 22, that four week new high, new low ratio. As I mentioned yesterday, that big gap up moved us back, right up back up in, in here toward that bearish re, re, uh, reversal zone. And, but we still have a little more um, upside potential here. So we're not, you know, just an imminent failure, or risk of failure. But this morning's gap down will will likely move this um, lower. So um, please keep in mind we have a lot of room to potentially move. Excuse me, uh, potentially move to the downside. So we'll want to uh, pay attention to that and just realize that there is plenty of room. But I don't know that I would fear it all that much with support levels coming in. We'll have to wait and see, but um, just know that we do have um, still have upside potential that we could reach up in here before we see any significant kind of sell off. Um, by the way, remember that a consolidation is 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 a good thing that. If we can consolidate and rest right in the in the current market area, that is a really good thing. It's a bullish thing. It's showing strength if no sellers really come through to push us down. If we can hold in that gap area and hold those support levels, then we can build a nice platform to be able to, to rally from. So we'll have to... Um, um, watch that and just realize that there's nothing wrong with a little bit of rest or consolidation. Let's take a look at um, the economic calendar for today. Really light economic calendar today. We have um, Red Book out this morning. We've got a Fed speaker and three bond auctions to uh, think about. Motor vehicle sales was earlier this morning so really nothing going in here on in here in the economic calendar to move us around please keep in mind we have just over 30 companies reporting earnings today those are coming in uh pretty fast and furious so kind of keep an eye on that and also remember that with the market being closed on wednesday for the national day of mourning of george h bush's uh death that um, we have about 25 companies reporting earnings tomorrow as the market is closed. So kind of keep that in mind and make sure you um, do your due diligence to plan your risk around any of those earnings um, if you happen to hold those companies or are thinking about adding those companies to your portfolio. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you a fantastic day. And let's take a look at a couple so the first chart I want to point out is AMD. AMD, really interesting pattern here. A nice gap up in it was supported by buyers yesterday. They they gapped it up, but buyers continued to step in all day long on AMD, pushing this stock up. So kind of keep an eye on this one, breaking this downtrend, popping through this level of resistance. So now any rest, any pullback, any kind of a consolidation that holds on to this trend could set up an opportunity for a long trade in here. So watch AMD closely. Um, a couple of uh, charts that um, came up 
yesterday is uh, those in the utility sector. Utilities kind of popped up strongly and held up nicely yesterday. And if we take a look at um, SO here, SO trending nicely, it's pushing up toward this price resistance right here, but a really nice wedge pattern forming here, sending triangle. We want to watch this in here after breaking out yesterday, whether or not this can follow through. Maybe look for a little bit of rest, a little bit of consolidation before that moves on up. But a nice chart uh, for your list, something to pay attention to. Also, another utility, NRG. NRG, beautiful price pattern here. Nice little trending stock looking great moving through this level of resistance we have a little bit of price resistance above but with such a nice trend this is really suggesting um, this could go higher so maybe take a look at some of those um, utilities as a well maybe a safe haven for a potential place um, if we look around the market there are quite a few defensive stocks um, like uh, pepsico that saw some selling yesterday but interestingly enough found some buyers picking them back up so we have pepsico showing those signs um, coca-cola after a pretty substantial sell-off picking itself back up. So we want to keep an eye on those to see if some of those defensive companies come back into favor if the market falters here. So watch that close. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. So please take care of yourselves. We'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Take care, everyone.